Hey, what is going on, guys? It is EJ from MyPathToSelf.com here. If you've been watching me for a while, if you've subscribed to me, if you've been reading my blog, you realize that I kind of seem like I fell off a little bit these past couple days. And that actually brings me to my point in this video, which is that things do not always appear, or things are not always as they appear. And uh, this, this holds true. In fact, you know, most of the time, things are the exact opposite of how they appear. For instance, recently I quit my job at a pizza place I was working at. I was only getting minimum wage. I was getting part-time hours because that's all I wanted because I'm an entrepreneur and I need the time to work on my business, my website, my YouTube. Just uh, I need time to work on myself and my future. And uh, it's not something that I was getting at this job. I would have time off, but by the time I got off work, I'd be exhausted or I'd feel sick when I had to go in. And it was just not a good thing. You know, at least... It was supporting me financially, but I was miserable going there. And uh, I wanted to quit because, uh, you know, some of these things that I'm working on on the side are starting to pan out, and I needed that time. But I was worried that my relationship with my family might suffer as a result of me quitting. Because if you've listened to some of my stories or you read some of my blogs, you know that we kind of had a rocky relationship for at least a year. I mean, on and off for, you know, a couple years at least. But, uh, so I was really worried because I'm close to them now that quitting my job was going to put, put some, uh, stress on that. And I didn't want to do that. But at the same time, I didn't want to be miserable every, every single day and making, you know, not even a fraction of what I know that I'm worth. So rather than consult them about it, I, just decided to call up one day. I didn't know if I was scheduled or not because I really didn't care. I had planned on quitting. And uh, I just called the owner up one day and I'm like, hey, I, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. I told you that when I started. I can't work there anymore. I need the time. And she said, uh, I actually talked about this story on another video. I'll try to, I'll try to remember what it is and I'll, I'll try to link to it in here. But basically the point here is that I ended up quitting and now things are really starting to roll. You know, things are starting to snowball for me and my family doesn't, <laughs> they haven't said anything negative about it. They just asked me if I quit and I said yes. And I told them this eBay thing is working and it's going to work and I'm going to make it work. And now it's not just me. You know, I have a, business partner that knows the industry that we're a part of now. So I have that leg up, that advantage that I didn't have before. So basically, like I said, things are not always as they appear. Like quitting the job is not always a bad thing for my relationship and my financial life. In fact, things are starting to go better. I'm pretty sure that this, I mean, March, well, February so far has been the most successful month with my internet career, you know, if you want to call it that, just because, you know, we've, it's only been, uh, you know, we've only been going for a week and a half, two weeks, something like that, but we've already, I mean, I don't want to say exact numbers, but we're, we're pushing a thousand dollars already in sales and I could not be more excited. We have more items to go up, you know, uh, we have people watching other items, so we know that we're going to get some more buyers soon, but the point is that if I didn't quit this job, if I didn't go a route that seemed like it was going to be a bad route, then I would still be stuck at that shitty job and I would still be miserable. And so that's, that's one point on this. Another thing is that, uh, well, things are not always as they appear with, uh, when this eBay thing was actually starting me and my now business partner actually got into it. Like we, we got into a big argument because, you know, I mean, for the same reason, I didn't have the time to work on it as much as it needed to be worked on. And, uh, you know, I told him I was going to quit the job and then like, I told him I was going to quit on one Friday and I ended up not quitting. I don't remember what exactly happened, but I just wasn't ready yet. And, uh, basically we got into a big argument and I almost screwed up my opportunity to be a part of this thing. So <laughs> I ended up quitting the job and, you know, I didn't think that it was even going to pan out. Literally, I was told at one point, you know, you're, you're not going to work for this. You know, you're not going to be able, you're not, you don't have the time to do it. You know, you're not going to be a good choice for this position. And, uh, and look at, I mean, now we're, we're, uh, I mean, now we get along better than ever. You know, we're doing big things. We have bigger things in the works. We have great ideas, you know, coming up to improve our YouTube or, uh, not our YouTube, our eBay, 
account and uh, we just we just have big things like in store for the future and we haven't even been working together that long I'm excited to see where this thing goes but basically again things are not always as they appear you know we did not I, I didn't think that I was gonna be here two weeks later you know talking to the guy on a casual basis and still making a ridiculous amount of money so uh, that's uh, that's all I really wanted to say I had one more example but I can't think of it right now if I can later I will try to add it to the end of this video but if you guys liked these little anecdotes and uh, the saying things are not always as they appear please uh, give me a comment or subscribe or give the video a thumbs up anyways I'm gonna try to record a lot more soon I'm not gonna do two a day anymore I don't have time for that right now but I'm going to do at least two or three a week at minimum I mean I'll try to do one a day if I can but two to three a week at minimum and you can hold me to that again they won't be as long as you know I used to do that that might be a good thing though I don't know what you guys think no one's really commented on the length of my videos or much anything at all except like personally people have told me oh that video was good and blah 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 blah. but I would like to hear you guys' feedback so please give me a comment or shoot me a message on Facebook or any of the above all right guys I will catch you later have a good night